He's not a guy that's going to overpower you. He's consistently 88 to 90. Uh, but that fastball, if he keeps it down, is quite effective. Innings out of someone in the bullpen, and then he had those spot starts. Uh, so he had a pretty good season. Abels is already 18 pitches into his outing. That time the runner goes, swing and a miss, throw down to second base is not in time. That was a terrific throw from Perez behind the plate, but Brait got an even better jump from first, so that's a stolen base. Base, Chestnut continues to work out of the stretch. That ball is hit on a line softly into center field. Coming out and making the catch is Edgardo Villegas. Very patient, Edgardo Villegas digs back in, and he draws a walk, so that is his sixth walk of the season to push his on-base percentage over 500. Villegas takes off again, and that missed low ball four. So now Miami's got runners at first and second with one out here in the bottom of the first inning. He swings and hits a ground ball towards the middle of the diamond. That's a base hit rolling into center field. Villegas is going to score easily. There was some obstruction between second and third. Cuvay is safe at third. Miami has a 1-0 lead thanks to the clutch two-out piece of hitting by Dorian Gonzalez, Jr. Yeah, again, you, you look at the location, the fastball out over the plate. The catcher sets up inside. They wanted to come in onto Gonzalez. Gonzalez does a nice job. And now the 3-2 payoff pitch. The runner is off, and this is dribbled towards third. Going to be a tough play up with a throw to first. Not in time. Here's a throw to third, and that's not in time over there. That is a sing I infield RBI single for Miami and Carlos Perez, and they lead 2-0. Well, oh, it wasn't the prettiest base hit in the world, but no pictures in the stat sheet as Carlos Perez rolls one over to the third baseman with two outs in the inning and no risk of pretty much anything of a bunt there. You see the third baseman's playing pretty deep. Perez just kind of rolls over on it, but fortunately for him, gets a good jump getting out of the box and runs well for a catcher. And RBI, to your point, over the weekend as the 0-2 offering is in there, called strike three. And that is a very laborious spot of the first inning. Two and two the count to Ziska. He's got a homer this season and he's got himself a strikeout to start his evening here in Miami. Here's Mikey Kluska and he ropes one on the line into left field sinking fast down for a base hit in front of Lorenzo Carrier who picks it up. Contested matchup when they get together. One two pitch swing at a miss for Norberto Lopez. Here's the 0 1 pitch to Estrella. There goes the runner. Good pitch to throw. It's on a dart down to second. They got him. Good throw, even better. Pick and tag by Urso at second, who actually played shortstop last weekend for Miami. Pretty darn good example of that. 1-2 offering is fisted in the air, right field. Kevin on sliding and unable to make the catch is Ziska. On his way to second base is Urso, and he's got himself a stand-up one-out double here in the bottom of the second inning. Here's the 2-2 pitch, and that is called strike three at the top of the zone, a 90-mile-an-hour fastball. Now the 3-2 payoff pitch is slammed on a line into right field, but they're making the catch of Ziska to retire the side here in the bottom of the second inning. Here is Nestler, and that is shot into center field. That's going to get down for a base hit. It's the second hit of the evening for UCF. They trail 2-0 here in the third. Good count to hit in. The 2-0 is slugged to right field, going back Costello. He's not going to get it. He'll have to play it off the wall. Nestler is flying. Norberto Lopez will hold him up at third. Now the ball starts to trickle away. It's picked up by Perez. Nestler, for a brief moment, thought about trying to score. Maybe a step or two in. The 1-0 pitch is shot to right center field, backing up Costello. He'll make the catch, a run will score. Tagging from second, going to third is Prevesk. Everybody will be safe. It's a sacrifice fly for Brait. And now it's 2-1 to one Miami. Good, good hitter. 1-0 pitch is dribbled off the end of the bat. On it this time is Dorian Gonzalez. He throws it to first, and that'll retire the side for UCF here in the top of the third inning. And now the 1 2 is shot through the vacated right side of the diamond into right center field. The base hit for Daniel Cuvay leading off the bottom of the third. Boy, that is impressive. He's so good. I mean, it's, it's so impressive to watch this young hitter. Miami is up by a run. And the 1 1 is slugged out towards the gap in left center field. That's going to chase Nestler back all the way to the wall. And one hops off the top of the wall. Rounding third. He'll try to score Cuvay. There won't be a throw to the plate. That's an RBI double for Lorenzo Carrier. It extends the Miami lead to 3-1. to one. Now the 2-2 is hit in the air. Left center field and fairly deep. 
Nestler is over. He settles underneath it, and he makes the catch. Who lined out to center field back in the first. Then Chestnut not messing around. Ground ball hit towards the middle of the diamond, flagging it down as he meant as the throw to first is not in time. It's a pretty play up the middle. They were not going to get Sundin. That's a leadoff infield single for UCF to start the fourth. And he got him with a changeup. Well, it's been a great pitch tonight for Chestnut. 3-2 goes to the bat stop. And Sundin will go to second. And UCF has runners at first and second base with one out. The 1-1 pitch, ground ball, hits off the glove of Chestnut. This is going to be a tough play. Everybody's going to be safe. And, and the point of the, the NCA is, is regular students are able to transfer all the time. Both first-time coaches trying to give themselves the best opportunity to win. Either way, it won't be the swing of the bat that will be the difference here as the first pitch from Kaba, a wild pitch in the dirt. And now UCF just one run away. But this is a little bit of a different situation. 3-1 pitch to Cedarburg and misses low ball four. A wild pitch and a walk by Kaba. Here's the 3-2 payoff pitch, and it is blooped in the air, left field. Coming on, coming on, it's fair ball. It falls in front of Carrier. Two runs are going to score. UCF has their first lead of the night. They lead 4-3 here in the fourth. That was UCF's first run of the night. Breaking ball, swing and a miss, and the inning comes to an end. You know, and, and in talking to the coaches about that game, that they never slammed towards the gap, Weicho, and it's going to be caught by Previsk. That's a line drive towards the middle of the diamond into center field, and the base hit. Miami has their first hit against Stagliano. It's a one out frozen rope to center here in the bottom of the sixth inning. 3 2 ground ball hit left side, bobbled by the shortstop, no play at first. An error by Kluska. And Miami's got runners at first and second. Miscue by this UCF team. Here's J.D. Urso, and the ball skips away from the catcher again. Mirai, and Miami has runners at second and third with one out. The pitch is swung on and missed. That's a big strikeout and second out for Stagliano here in the sixth inning. Now the 3-1 is outside ball four. He walked him. Good, lively fastball from the senior. 1-1, one, one, breaking ball in the air center field, backing up Calabro, and he makes the catch, and the inning is over. And that hit him. Oof, that's going to hurt. Victor dialed it back to 92. It's still clip carrier, and he'll go to first. Here comes the 1-1, one, one, and that is a ground ball right back to Victor. They get the easy out at second. Throw to first, a double play that goes 1-6-3. Najir Victor escapes the seventh. A little limp headed back to the dugout. Five o'clock starts are nice. 0 1 pitch has popped up on the infield. Vargas needs to get the heck out of the way. Somebody's got to call for it, and nobody's going to get there. I mean, that cannot happen. First, if it's in the air. Ground ball hit to third. Whoa, what a backhand pick. To second for one, and the throw to first is not in time. Urso had a hard time finding that ball in his glove at second. 0-2 hit in the air, left center field. Piece of cake if Long can get there, he does, and the inning is over. EF leading late. Blew it by him. See you later. 96 on the gun. 3-2, that is called strike three over the outside corner. Caught him looking. The inning, it has been quiet. 3-1, misses inside, ball fourth, and now the 1-2. He struck him out with a fastball. The pitch is a ground ball hit to the right side, picked up at first, underhand, shovel the first. Oh, and they didn't get him. Dwyer couldn't find the bag. Well, that's inside, and it goes to the backstop, and this is a bit of a disaster right now for Miami. So anything on the ground, they're coming home. This is swung on and missed. Yeah, and I guess you really can't do that with two strikes. Here's the 2-2 pitch, and that is hit to left field, sinking fast in there to make the catch. For Miami is Edgardo Villegas. Pitch, but you got to sit fastball right here. The 3-2 is a fastball, and he couldn't lay off of it. 3-2 pitch. He swung on and missed, but the ball goes to the backstop. The throw to first is not in time. Wow, a strikeout. 
of Viegas. Runner stays put in the pitch. Ground ball head towards the middle of the diamond. That's a base hit for Costello. Rounding second, headed towards Sir Viegas. There won't be a throw. Miami threatening here in the bottom of the ninth. Well, Cuvay's going to come to the plate, and he's going to come to the plate with men in the corners as Costello comes up big. Ground ball hit. Could end it at short. Kluska to Bo Dicker. A 6-3 double play ends it. And UCF escapes Miami with a 4-3 victory over the Hurricanes. Yeah, Kyle, this is a big game for both these ball clubs coming in here.